it's time to rant. Hey, it's Jack here, and today I'm going to be talking about Celebrity Big Brother series number 20, 22, oh. um, so I'm going to be talking about series 20, the first um, evictee, and the nominees um, surrounding the first eviction. Uh, I'm not going to dive into all the house guests right now because I don't feel like they've had a very good edit um, or I, I just don't have a very good knowledge of every single housemate in, uh, in order to form an opinion. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to do um, the five nominees, uh, including the evicted housemate this day, today. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to start off with um, Trisha. Trisha's a great, um, she has a great character, a great personality, um, that suits the big brother UK world. Um, I see that's sort of in the essence of her ability to say a lot, do a lot, um, and her ability to not, um, be afraid to, um, <laughs> be open about her sexuality and her body and everything like that. I find that that's what makes her a great character and I know, in my opinion, that I think that's what kept her safe, is her ability to be honest with the public, to um, have this very wild and um, open personality with one another. Yes, there's traffic behind me. Uh, you probably won't hear it though, but I am acknowledging it. But yeah, I'm not shocked. I, I love her meltdowns this week. It made it such great content. It showed that, you know, <laughs> the struggles of being a North American <laughs> entering the UK, especially the UK house. Um, I don't know. I found that really funny, really interesting. Um, it obviously sort of forced her to be nominated. But I love the drama. She seems so dramatic, which is great um, television and everything. So... Yeah, I actually love Trisha. I think she's going to be a really great housemate. Not because she's doing chillmances or anything, but her as a standalone character, or um, when I say character, more personality. Great choice. Great choice. Um, moving forward, we had Chad on the block. The Bachelorette. Mr. Oh, I'm Chad. I have an amazing body. That's about it. Oh my god, this guy is so boring. Like, yes, we see this whole day with Amelia thing, but, like, God. Like, grow personality out of you, like, your chest hair or something. Like, gosh. Darn it. Like, you're so cocky, yet annoying, yet... Ugh, I just want you out. <laughs> because, like, I think everybody else has, like, a really good energetic personality, yet you bring everybody down. Like, ugh. Like, it's... I, I just feel, honestly, though, too, like, I think Amelia would do a lot better with maybe another housemate, um, in a showman's perspective, because I feel like she would be dragging him along throughout the whole series, unless he opens up to her about a lot of stuff, which would be really interesting, but I really don't think he is. He's very introverted, very much cocky, and everything like that, and... I just don't like that. I don't like his personality, his appearance and everything, and like how chilly he is compared to everybody else who's doing something, saying something, has an opinion. Um, uh, and yeah, like I just don't like him. Like, honestly, that's just my opinion. Just either grow personality or get out. I hope that they, he somehow becomes nominated by the end of this week. But that's just my opinion. Um, then we have Sarah. Sarah was a very emotional this week. She was very much a house guest that was willing to um, share her emotions with a lot of the housemates. Obviously, she had a lot of pressure being nominated. I think that caused a lot of anxiety for her. Therefore, it caused her to be a bit more wary of everything, um, which caused her, I think, to be a bit more emotional. But I love that. I honestly, I love her and her ability to actually be emotional and be open with the public. Especially during this first week, it can be so stressful going from sequestered to in directly shot into the house. Like, it's, it's stressful, especially in the UK where you have everybody judging you compared to the US version where it's like, you have your housemates judging you, not the public, um, unless there's a twist. But that's the thing with the UK. I think a lot of people um, can judge so easily by the edits and everything. 
but I, I, I love that Sarah opened up and um, sort of talked about her experience with her um, uh, girls group. I don't know. I don't because I want to say boy band, but like girl band type thing. Um, musical group. I will say musical group as a best description because I don't really. I forget how to say it. I believe her name is uh, the the group's name was like Girls Aloud or something like that. But I love that she sort of moved past that. I think she actually seemed like a actual human. She was the only person this week that I would say is genuinely opened up as a human being. Everybody else is still playing that cocky asshole character. And her, she's just sort of being there and is the calm and um, reasonable um, and sane human. human. Uh, I love that her genuine moment of opening up with people has been such a great um, moment for her. And I think that if she can do that with a lot of other house guests, be open with them, talk to them, have those genuine moments and genuine connections, and that can be shown on screen, I think that will work out great. Um, I don't feel like she's a lot of, she's just very much of a firecracker. Um, I think she's going to be a lot more calm and if she is going to have her moments where it's a, she's gets loud or whatever I think it will be due to a trigger of someone else. Someone else will get very big and very fiery and then she'll get fiery. Um, but yeah, I like her. I think she's a great housemate and I hope that she can um, continue to um, show her genuine emotions and be honest with the public and saying this is what's going on in the house and this is how I feel and everything like that. Um, yeah, I like Sarah. Lastly, uh, of the four nominees that have been saved today, we had Karthik, Mr. Unibrow Twitter dude. Uh, the Unibrow. The Karthik Unibrow. Yeah. The, the guy with the Unibrow. Okay. So he had a bunch of um, remarks this week that um, was accusing him of being racist. Um, he always had, he had that squabble with the one guy. When I say that one guy, I am sorry, I don't know all the house guests' names. You just have to know which guy it is. If you don't know, then don't <laughs> don't watch this. Um, you have been warned. But yeah, like I think Karthik, Karthik, I think is very nice. I think he he's going to be one of those very nice and welcoming house guests. And I think that's what I'm going to like about him. Is uh, his ability to be nice and open with other housemates. Um, just being a nice human being will offset him a lot. Um, and yeah, I, just, I think I like him. I like Karthik. I like seeing his social game this week. Of just being nice. Even though I had that one moment where it was like, okay. He said, he said to, I think it was Brandy. I don't even know her name either. The one with the high ass cheekbones. Um, who looks like she got plastic surgery at the age of four or something. Um, that's what level this. That's what level we are going to get at this first um, recap. Um, I think it was Brandy though. Um, uh, and how we said, oh no, but like I don't. I think I think of men and women as equal. And like yes, I do see that. But it's like it's more of a North American thing to see the ideas. The, or at least, in my opinion, I think it's more of a North American thing to serve women first rather than men. Um, especially when it comes to something where it's like you're not ordering food or something. Where it's like, okay, you have drinks, so you have different options. Uh, you can make it and everything. And that's just my opinion. Like, I, I know that men and women should be equal, but are, should be equal, but aren't equal right now in the world in a lot of different perspectives. But... When it comes to that, especially when it's a social situation, yes, you can bump heads and everything, but why Why should you? Why do you want to? Like, you, should, you shouldn't you should bump heads right now. This is week one. Anybody can nominate you and everybody can nominate you, especially with the people who were in power. So, yeah, like, I liked it, though, because I had a really good conversation. It was a really good um, topic and storyline to put in this week, and it's something I liked. I liked in uh, looking into Karthik's um, story past the freaking unibrow. Um, lastly, but not least, um, to end this recap, this week we saw Marissa get evicted. Moment of silence. I actually really liked her. I genuinely really liked her. I was hoping Chad's ass would be out of the door. Um, 
I liked her though. I genuinely did. I, I words sometimes. I genuinely did like her. Um, that's just because um, I found her personality and her whole New York, um, Boston mob wives type action really cool. Like, sort of like, it's not something you see in a Big Brother. The only time we saw that was with Gina Marie, basically, in season 15, or, or um, Amanda Zuckerman, same season. Both of those women legends, um, in their own right. But I actually like that about hers, her whole Boston, like, or, like, New York, or, um, that whole area, like, New England-esque style, um, because, like, it's, <laughs> and, I like, I like her flirting and everything, too, like, her ability to flirt with a lot of the other housemates, like, I think really brought a lot of people's attention. It was just the unfortunateness of Sean nominating her, which I didn't think was a bad thing to move on his part. It was just sort of sad to see her go. I think the main reason, though, why she did leave was because of her... Um, no, nobody really knowing her. Obviously, Trisha, a YouTuber, huge, um, huge fame. Um, then you have Chad, who's a bachelor, so um, definitely going to vote for him to stay. Sarah was a bit emotional. I think a lot of people took sympathy for her this week, it being the first week. And then Karthik... Karthik being Karthik, um, with his whole social, um, social game and what everybody saw, um, it was just sort of went down to Marissa because I think that, um, although a lot of showmances are sort of developing and everything, um, I don't think the public really liked that she was very much, um, like her, her style, her flirtiness, plus a lot of people didn't really know her, um, and yeah, uh, overall though, I actually liked her. I wish Chad was leaving because he has no personality right now. And I like Marissa's personality, her flirtiness, everything like that. I would have loved to see how that dig uh, um, progressed over the uh, coming weeks and see how that would work out and if it would work out. I feel like she would have been a very strong social player. Um, when I say social, like just she... Um, I, I think her ability to intermingle between different genders and different lines that will be crossed, uh, which will be created in the house, would have been to her benefit. But unfortunately, she left uh, this week, and um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Obviously, I couldn't cover all the housemates today, just because there's so many housemates. It would be an incredibly long video, and I just didn't, um, I'd rather cover the housemates that were nominated. Um, as a part to accommodate um, uh, the uh, this week or this um, first eviction. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you disagree, that's great as well. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you like it, like it. If you like it, subscribe. Um, and if you dislike it, you can dislike it. Do whatever you feel is right. Um, on a side note here. Um, somewhere across the screen, hopefully I'll do it around right here, pow, finger gun, um, is going to be uh, my B Big Brother UK civilian series um, video, and it'll be right there if you want to watch it, about the final housemates in the house from that series. So feel free to watch it, and um, thank you.